Hello and welcome. We're going to discuss how narcissism expresses itself in different signs of the zodiac. We're focusing this particular discussion upon the sign of Sagittarius the Archer. The sign of Sagittarius the Archer is here. It's the, it's the ninth house on the, on the natural chart. It's the natural ninth house of life path meaning. Aries being the first and Sagittarius being number, number nine. Now, keep in mind that everyone has some narcissistic attributes and that a person without any narcissism at all would have such a weak personality, devoid of any ego strengths, that she or he could not really function in society very well, they, if, if at all. They, they would not be able to really, they wouldn't have a healthy ego because narcissism is part of a healthy ego, okay? So it's part of the... For part of being a healthy person, okay? Now, narcissism refers to qualities in an individual in that where the individual is going to possess self-love, they're going to possess egotism, self-centeredness, self-absorption, and conceit. The psychological profession describes a condition which they term as NPD, or Narcissistic Personality Disorder. And this psychological syndrome presents with a person that lacks empathy for other human beings or other creatures, requiring constant and excessive respect, appreciation, approval, and very high esteem from, from other people, as well as being unable not able to participate in any healthy relationships. So this is narcissistic personality disorder. That's what that's about. Nevertheless, this is not a discussion about the medical aspect of NPD. Rather, we are taking a look at normal individuals, normal people, and how narcissism expresses itself to each sign of the zodiac to each of the 12 signs of the zodiac okay although i am a licensed registered nurse i am not a psychologist and even though i have worked in psychiatric units as a charge nurse and i've worked in other units as well so i have a lot of experience working with people that are in difficult situations i've, I've worked in recovery room and telemetry and medical surgical nursing and also in surgery and also uh in neonatal int intensive care, that's, they don't have very developed personalities at that point, but what I'm saying is I know how people operate. So I have that aspect in my, in my background, okay? Um, I am going to approach this series from the point of view of an astrologist, because I'm an astrologer, an astrologist, and a lot of nurses actually go into the, the kinds of spiritual arts and healing arts that become like psychic readers, they read tarot cards like I do and do palmistry and also, you know, other, other types of, again, natural healing. They do healing hands or they get in their church group and, and visit hospitals. So a lot of nurses do that. They get into the spiritual aspect or become astrologers or something like that or astrologists. So it's, it's not uncommon for nurses to go into first the physical healing and then into the emotional, spiritual, and that kind of healing realm as well, because they're, they're connected, yeah? Okay, I'm Pastor Rosemary, the Astrology Angel. I'm a Rosicrucian seer, Biblical astrologer, Christian psychic, and Gnostic mystic, and this is a Readings by a Rosemary Angelic Transmission. Now, we're going to talk about, again, we're going to talk about specifically the sign of Sagittarius, the Archer, and how Healthy narcissism expresses itself in the sign of the archer, in the sign of Sagittarius, okay? Now, in astrology, narcissism expresses itself via the ego matrix of the personality. And although the ego is often thought to be that of a, sort of a swaggering egotist, you know, or an ostentatious know-it-all, it can also... Uh, kind of tiptoe into private exchanges as bogus humility, ignoring one's own blunders while accentuating the, the errors and the blunders of other people. 
and denying others the pleasure of getting to know the genuine person stowing away hidden within the ego out of a sense of fear or guilt or shame or all three or all of the above okay now every sign has its virtues and every sign has its vices so there's sort of a an angel and a demon sitting on the shoulders of each of the 12 signs of the zodiac now the the angel or the you know the virtue or the angel you there's an order of angel called virtues for Sagittarius the archer the main virtue or angel is straightforwardness sort of straightforwardness you know right they come directly at you you know they don't they don't beat around the bush straightforwardness is a virtue and it's it's the angel sitting on the shoulder of the Sagittarius the Sagittarian and the chief vice or demon is being perpetually unsatisfied continuously dissatisfied never being satisfied okay that's the demon the devil the vice for the Sagittarius for the archer now bluntness is one of the great powers of Sagittarius one of the great powers now with that said Sagittarius's direct and frank attributes are balanced by the archers conservative understandings in that Sagittarius doesn't make comments that aren't currently popular or conventionally appropriate okay Sagittarius again they don't make remarks they don't talk about they don't make comments that aren't currently popular or conventionally appropriate they want to make sure that anything they say is conventionally appropriate that anything they say is currently popular it's something that is okay to say they don't they're not they're not um, contrarious contrarians I believe is the term they're not contrarians they they, they want to go with what's the popular notion you know how you know what what is the current thinking on this what is the current smart thinking on this and that's what they're going to go with okay that's a very important uh, potion of, and a mixture about this inside their angel their virtue the straightforwardness this frankness this bluntness okay they're, they're going to say conventional things they're going to say popular things now these qualities give the archer a wonderful air of sophistication they're sophisticated elegant people that others find captivating now Sagittarius can also be merciless teasers of other people merciless teasers pitiless teasers of other people especially those they care about the most and consider closest to them so they're not going to necessarily be, be teasing someone that they're that they want to impress like someone that they think you know is that they have a lot of respect for that's someone they don't know that someone that's way up here that they want to impress they're not going to necessarily tease that person but if you're close to them if you're a close friend if you're a close family member if you're a spouse or a girlfriend or a boyfriend or wife or a husband you know these are going to they're going to be they're going to tease mercilessly without pity okay they take great joy in teasing people now when 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 Sagittarius begins to tease others excessively it is usually due to the archer feeling frustrated with the power structure of the relationship in that Sagittarius feels the need to have more authority regarding the control dynamics of this type of interconnection with the other so they want to make sure that they're authority that they have a position of authority and if they don't feel that they have enough position of authority if they don't have a dominant position they're going to tease in order to try to get control of the person in order to try to have authority over the person so they can handle the person and of course many times uh, for the person's best interest is with someone close to you they're, it's coming out of love but they get frustrated when they feel that they don't have a proper amount of power in a relationship especially a close one and they will tease to get above to get authority over okay it's a fire sign Sagittarius is mutable fire and you know so and 
it's a very powerful fire sign okay so fire signs are passionate and fire signs uh, you know in 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 astrology fire is considered to be a high spiritual quality it's a fire and then air and then water and then earth as you come down through the world so fire is very creative and a very uh, considered to be a high level so naturally fire signs Aries Leo and Sagittarius feel a need to lead and to a need to dominate so it's whereas with Aries it's it's more of a an initiatory fire like lighting the match with Leo it's a campfire that you can work with and cook with and and control and with Sagittarius it's a mutable fire it's out of control fire okay so that's the energy that you're dealing with okay and and they're good leaders but sometimes you might feel it's out of control but if you're someone that can help them focus on how they want to go about things and help them be a leader if you see them as a leader a Sagittarius you can be a great value to them if you help them with with to you know to make it go in a good direction so it does something productive okay this all this passion all this energy all this energy to you know to travel and, and be autonomous and all these wonderful energies that make Sagittarius so fascinating so captivating and such a, a attractive person yeah that others really like to be around again find very captivating find very fascinating okay now when when Sagittarius feels the need as we said to have more authority regarding the authority dynamics of this type of of relationship with people close to them especially this dissatisfaction can take the form of Sagittarius being discontented with the financial situation the dollar signs boom they're gonna be they're gonna be discontented with the financial situation the money matters the financial situation the lack of adventure and travel is another portion of this they're gonna be dissatisfied with the lack of adventure in their life and the lack of travel in their life remember their mutable fire or 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 the living arrangements such as the home the couple lives in if it's like a, a spousal couple the home they live in they're gonna that's another portion of this so again it's the financial situation the lack of adventure the lack of travel or the living arrangement such as the home that the couple lives in what kind of home they want to live in where they want to live okay and the kind of community they want to live in now forever wanting more remember their virtue is straightforwardness but their vice is going to be perpetually dissatisfied perpetually unsatisfied okay so this is when you're going to uh, have a situation where forever wanting more the Sagittarius always desiring a better situation is the culprit at this juncture for the archer and Sagittarius's relationships in their relationships and their interconnections with the very important people in their lives now when teasing becomes a bit too cruel too mean for the taste of the archers target then it is specifically this type of pitiless mockery of loved ones that can lead to the exact manner in which narcissism can begin to become a thorn in the side to the Sagittarius's intimate relationships okay and may cause difficulties in the archer's personal life with family spouses and close friends so when the pitiless and unrelenting teasing when the merciless mockery of loved ones when this comes in and this can become the exact way when the narcissism can begin to become too much and it can then begin to become unhealthy and destroy the relationships if they can't stop teasing for the purpose of subjugating for the purpose of the authority and getting the things that they want because remember their vice is that they're not satisfied ever no matter what okay and this leads them to a happy life of adventure but they always want more and that can make it difficult for the spouse so the spouse has to understand that 
and work with it and be someone who has the ability to help the Sagittarius with these things if that becomes a problem or the ability to fend off the teasing or to not care about the teasing, you know, or be able to stop it if it becomes too cruel. You've got to have a strong partner. One type of strong partner is another Sagittarius. Those relationships work pretty good, but they can get pretty intense, as you can imagine. But it can also work pretty, you know, pretty good, but it would depend on the rising sign. You would need some, some, some things in there to cool it down, like some nice water you know, in, in the rising sign or the moon sign to calm it down, and, and although that would generate a lot of feelings. But you're going to want to have a lot of earth in there, too, to be able to kind of ground the situation. You know, and, and the, the, the air can stimulate conversation intellectual. So, you know, the right partner or the right type of, of a partner or group can really help uh, the Sagittarius when the narcissism begins to come because of this need to subjugate and to tease and to mock others. Now, uh, how Sagittarius can keep mentally, emotionally, and physically healthy is to realize that other people might also want more from their existence here on earth, though they possibly could have a more humble perspective and, and, a, and have a more balanced, really, um, they could get a more balanced perspective, possibly, and have a more, more uh, balanced approach about what is important in life. So it's when the priorities, this is where, you know, the other person might be able to have, again, more groundedness. We're you know, someone with earth, you know, sign or, again, water. The emotion, water, earth is the manifestation, you know, the, the groundedness, you know, the, you know, making sure the finances are good, that kind of thing. And uh, logic is the air, sign, air signs. So somebody, again, somebody that can help balance the Sagittarian, okay? For example, um, the spouse of, of an unfulfilled Sagittarius, if uh, the spouse, the wife of the husband of an unfulfilled Sagittarius most likely feels that the relationship with the archer is more important than the luxuriousness of the home which they inhabit together. Or the spouse might think that going on excursions for excitement is not as necessary as building a strong and happy family. See, so that they might have different priorities. Now, Sagittarius must keep the basics of being a member of a sturdy family, and a strong family bond, and happy family. So, so Sagittarius has to keep those basics of being the member of a sturdy family and having a stable home life in perspective otherwise the archer will end up bouncing sort of from one spouse to another looking for happiness born of thrills rather than stability very important okay very important that this is what causes the Sagittarius to go from one spouse or one girlfriend or one boyfriend to another it causes them to bounce around in their relationships because they keep thinking they're gonna find happiness and what they're looking for in a different person that's not usually the case what they're looking for is an, uh, to be fulfilled in something that cannot be fulfilled because it's part of the nature that cannot be fulfilled. So they're going to, Sagittarius has to understand that they have to be a member of a sturdy family. They have to make sure they get a, uh, a spouse that is someone who understands all this and has the right zodiac signs to deal with it and be strong enough and ha have a good effect on the Sagittarius. Yeah? Now, uh, Sagittarius also uh, must find a way to make a family life and a home fun. The, the Sagittarius and the spouse of the Sagittarius has to help the Sagittarius find a way to create a family life and a home life that is fun, that is exciting, that is enjoyable for, this, for the Sagittarius, even if at first the conditions at home might be born of modest beginnings. Okay. So you can always add, like you, get, you can buy a piano or buy a drum set or, you know, buy great paintings or do wonderful, amazing cooking and do videos about cooking and things like that, you know, that will keep the Sagittarius, you know, happy and, and give the Sagittarius 
more that they're feeling they're getting some of this need for adventure and some of this need you know filled you know that they can get that kind of thing now um the um staying the course the sagittarius the staying the course is the that's the challenge but that's what can really help the sagittarius staying the course and finding gratification in ordinary daily activities in routine life and mundane life being able to find contentment and satisfaction and gratification in the mundane rituals of everyday life with occasional adventures appropriate for the entire family is essential to Sagittarius staying mentally, emotionally, and socially and physically healthy. Okay, so like going on on vacations, uh, even if they're not expensive vacations, even just going to the zoo in your own town, you know, going somewhere together as a family, everybody going together as a family, Sagittarius needs that. And in this way, Sagittarius can stay mentally, emotionally, socially, and physically healthy and stay with the same mate if they find one that can really help them have fun and feel that they're getting their adventure and their travel needs taken care of. You don't have to get on a plane to travel, you know? You can go for a walk and have great, you can go for great hikes. Sagittarius usually love hikes. A lot of Sagittarius love to go hiking, okay? Another great thing. Now, in this way, the archer's dealings with others can advance in a pleasing state of well-being for everyone concerned. So this is how the Sagittarius can keep the narcissism that we all have, that is good for our ego, and our egos have to be strong, and keep it in a healthy ego matrix, a healthy narcissism, and not lead into unhealthy that could possibly ever become, you know, NPD. We don't want narcissistic personality disorder for anyone and this is how Sagittarius can keep in a healthy realm of the healthy ego the healthy narcissism which is you know having true true pride in their in their good works and truly enjoying their life and true pride in their family for a family that they've that they're a good member of and that they've that they're helping to build and a member of and and uh, you know and Sagittarius will always be strong and have a strong leadership position uh, nevertheless they need other people in the family to be able to go on these great adventures with them and and sort of be with their they, they need these people there with them they enjoy although they do enjoy time alone too and doing things on their own but again people that understand can be of great assistance to Sagittarius and when Sagittarius understands them, themselves they won't wonder why am I not satisfied it's not your fault you're Sagittarius you can't help it okay it's not your fault comes down from the upper worlds it's not your fault it's about life path meaning the meaning of your life the meaning of your path and according to Kabbalah everyone has an important thing to give to life that only they can give and without that person, none of creation would be able to fulfill the plan of the Creator. So everybody, no matter who you are, no matter what kind of job you have or what position you have, whether you're below or above or in the middle, it doesn't mean a pyramid, it doesn't matter. Your, your piece is just as important as any other piece. Remember that. Like in that Jenga game, you pull something out down here and the whole thing falls down. It's like that. Everybody's got an important piece and everybody needs to do their piece to the best of their ability and the whole thing stands strong. All right. The information found in this document is based on the oral tradition. And in this video as well, there's an attached document. It's based on the oral tradition known as Kabbalah, taught to me by a Rosicrucian clergy when I was but a young girl, the facts of which I've committed to memory. Thanks so much for joining us. Please join us again next time, and we'll see you soon.